Hey, hey, real quick, you guys remember when South Carolina fans used to always brag about how Will Muschamp was 7-0 and against Tennessee or something like that? Well, guess what? 3-0! and 3-0! Oh, oh. uh, well, in the last three years, yeah, I guess that's the only stat that matters. Now, we love to make up stats, too, so there you go. <sighs> we beat, we beat uh, South Carolina again. Dominate him yet again. What what a play. Oh my goodness. Yeah, just uh, watching the ending of this Texas-Oklahoma game. They just scored a touchdown. Tie. It is a possibility that Texas could win this game. They want it. They want it. They're out here playing. They want it. Uh, so, congratulations to South Carolina. You guys lose to Tennessee again. That's all there is to say about that. Nothing else to say about it. You guys got dominated. Congratulations. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Let's talk about some uh, more important things here. So, the thing I'll be looking for if uh, I'm Tennessee going forward is... Of course, there's a lot of things that need to be discussed. Of course, a dominating win over South Carolina is something that I'm always happy about. No reason to be mad about a win like that against South Carolina. But here's some things that I think need to be improved on. And that mainly goes for the second half. So, second half play for Tennessee was just miserable. Now, in fairness, granted, South Carolina played quite a bit better in the second half than they did in the first half. They just looked completely lost in the first half. But, Tennessee just kind of just started to... They just kind of started to crap themselves a bit in the... In the uh, the second half of that game, defense is starting to play really soft, letting South Carolina play man ball over them. Kevin Harris was just absolutely tearing apart our defensive line. They were getting wide receivers open. They started scoring scoring on possessions. We can't allow that. The offense really started to play kind of soft too. The, the trick plays that we had in the first half just kind of vanished. One thing that I really noticed that really started to irritate me is that we were playing Chaney ball. Run up the middle, 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 uh, sweep pass. Run up the middle, run up the middle, run up the middle. That's all they were doing. Can't be having that against Ole Miss. If we aren't able to score against Ole Miss, they're going to dominate us. So we got to fix that. Uh, no doubt in my mind, we got to fix that. Speaking of which, I'm heading to Neyland this upcoming Saturday to watch Ole Miss. So you already know... That Tennessee is going to absolutely roll over Lane Kevin. We're going to absolutely destroy them. I am hyped up. Tennessee starting out 4-2, and two, just like I predicted. And we got Ole Miss coming up this week. This is a huge game for the Vols. And don't you dare come in here with the comment section as a Tennessee fan. Look at, look at the camera. Look at Squid Tart. Look at the Tennessee Vol fan base and say... We're gonna lose! Shut up! No, we're not! Here's what's gonna happen. You ready? You ready? Tennessee is going to host Ole Miss this Saturday, this upcoming Saturday at 7.30, and we are gonna dominate them! Alright? Don't you dare come in, come in here with that negative vol nonsense spewing it all. It's just going to be just like Jeremy Pruitt. We're going to lose. This hype was all made up for nothing. Allow me to honor BVD and, and tell you what I think of that. That's what I think of that. <sighs> but yeah. Point proven. Uh, congratulations to South Carolina. Y'all got yourself an SEC win. Against Vandy, of course, next week. Yeah, you gotta wait a week for that, though. As for Tennessee, we got some things to work on. We can't have a second half collapse against Ole Miss, all right? We just can't have it. We gotta come out and we gotta beat the crap out of them. So let's focus on that. Meanwhile, we gotta see the end of this Texas Oklahoma game. And uh, I'll, I'll let you guys know how many of the other games going forward the 330s, the 730s, the whatevers, uh, Penn State versus Iowa. Georgia versus Auburn. Upset alert, possibly? No. But, uh, 
Yeah, I'll let you guys know about all of that going forward uh, at the end of today, either that or tomorrow morning. Whichever the deal may be, I'll, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys then. Until then, see you guys in the next one. Power to Tardaria, go Vols, Ole Miss, and Lane Kiffin. We're coming for you! <laughs>